looked at me weird, and then I said, that's not a crocodile, that's an alligator! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a oh, good one. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey everybody, oh, oh, oh. welcome to New Life Church. We are so glad that you are here today. Hey, if it's your first time here, make sure to text NL Guest to 97000. It'll help us connect with you and get you connected to others. We have our fall carnival coming up on October 30th from 5 to 7, and that's going to be open from everyone ages 0 to 11. It's going to be an amazing time. We're all going to open up our church. We're going to have amazing uh, attractions, setups, costumes. It's going to be a blast. There's going to be a photo booth and lots of candy. Make sure if you have candy donations, to bring them to the church. We need them and we love you for bringing them. Yes, and if you're interested with volunteering, you can also sign up on your connection card as well. Also, we have an awesome thing coming up November 3rd. We have water baptisms. Christ calls all believers to be water baptized. And so whether you've given your life to Christ just recently or a long time ago, if you have not been water baptized, now is the time to do so. You can text NLH2O to 97,000 to get connected or you you can sign up on your connection card as well. Either way, don't delay, sign up to be water baptized. Yes, and we have child dedication happening on December 1st as well. If you have a child you would like to dedicate to Christ, make sure to sign up on the connections card or the church center app. Again, that's December 1st and I hope you sign up. We also have a really cool opportunity coming up. December 6th, we have the Fun Marriage Workshop led by Craig and Michelle Colgrove. Trust me folks, this is not something you are gonna wanna miss. Whether you have been just married or you're engaged or you've been married for a long time or your marriage is going great or maybe it's not so going great or maybe it's just okay. Wherever you are on your marriage journey, you will want to attend this conference. It's gonna give you a lot of useful tools and resources to give you the most life-giving relationship you can have with a human. So go ahead and make sure you mark your calendars and sign up on your connection card or church center app today, December 6th, fun marriage workshop. As many of you may know, Pastor Appreciation Sunday was supposed to be today. Unfortunately, it had to be moved to next week, but that does give you more time to write a card or bake a dish, whatever it is you're gonna do. So make sure to show up next week and appreciate our pastors. Hey, we wanna thank you guys so much for coming here today and being here with our Sunday service. Again, if you haven't yet, grab your, make sure you grab your bulletin. There's a lot of information in here, some stuff we didn't hit notes and there's your connection card make sure you grab this fold it fill it out and if you filled it out go ahead and rip it off with me in three two, two one what there it is yeah. you probably ripped it off on time i did not so hey but make sure you take this throw this in a generosity box or an offering bucket as you go out today and we hope that you have a great sunday Absolutely. knock knock who's there cookie cookie who Hey, New Life, we're gonna continue to praise and worship God through our tithes and offerings this morning. If it's your first time with us, just know that we don't expect anything from you. We want you to enjoy Sunday service. If you're here though, and New Life's your church home, you're a follower of Jesus, we know that God calls us to be obedient in bringing our first fruits of our offerings to Him as an act of worship. I wanna call our ushers down to the front of the room as we prepare to receive tithes and offerings this morning. As many of you are well aware, two major hurricanes have devastated the American Southeast, impacting thousands of families in, in states like North Carolina, Tennessee, and Florida. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, how can I make a difference? How can I make an impact? I'm hundreds of miles away. What can I do? Well, if you give to Kingdom Builders, you are already making a difference. See, one of the organizations that we support through Kingdom Builders is Convoy of Hope, and they are a faith-based organization that brings relief and aid to people all around the world, including disaster relief here in our own United States. Uh, Convoy is regularly one of the first organizations to have boots on the ground in disaster-struck areas, sometimes before other aid groups can even get there. Uh, they're handing out aid, they're bringing relief, they're getting supplies to people, and in just a few moments, you're actually gonna hear more about what Convoy of Hope has been doing in these areas to make a difference in people's lives and all of that is thanks to your giving. Uh, if whether you hear these stories know that your giving makes this difference. It makes it possible for them to do the things that they do. 
And if you aren't giving, uh, now is the perfect time to think about giving, to know that when you give, it impacts organizations like this and that we're already making a difference, not just during these hurricane times, but year round as Convoy of Hope helps out so many other people. Uh, so there's two places to give here at New Life. There's your tithes and offerings, that's giving your first 10%. And then there's giving above and beyond that to support Kingdom Builders. And there's four ways you can go about that. You can give online at newlife906.com, text an amount to give, Give to 84321, drop an envelope in the offering buckets or in the generosity boxes around the church, or you give online through the Church Center app. I'd love to encourage you to set up online and recurring giving. It's simple, it's easy, it's convenient. Let's pray together this morning. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We thank you for the work that is already being done in hurricane impacted areas. We thank you for organizations like Convoy of Hope. And Father, I pray that our offerings and our giving and our charity go to make an even greater difference for impacted families, Lord. We know that there is so much that you are doing, that you have already done, and that you plan to do in the future. And so bless uh, the offering that comes in. May you use it for your kingdom and for for your glory and in your holy, mighty, and powerful name we pray. All God's people said, Amen. Well, once again, I want to thank you so much for joining us. The ushers are going to make their way around, and it's going to be an amazing Sunday morning. Downtown Tampa is a ghost town. Hurricane Milton is on the way. Homes and businesses are boarded up here and in Sarasota and all along the central Florida Gulf Coast. Weather conditions are deteriorating rapidly. Convoy of Hope is here. I'm part of an advanced team to be ready to serve hurricane survivors when the storm passes. We are now working two major disasters simultaneously, Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene, where people in North Carolina still need our help. It's about helping people and making sure that the families that's hurt and families that lost a lot get things, you know, and try to get the essential things like water, you know, toiletries and different things to kind of bring them back up and let's let them know somebody do care. We need your help as we will be here for survivors for the long haul. Donate at convoy.org slash Milton or convoy.org slash Helene. As people leave town for safety, they can know Convoy will be here to provide hope in every storm.